Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Cancer. This is for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see what comes up. This is for the week of November 18th through the 24th. <clears throat> If this card comes out reversed, I'm going to I'm going to flip it up right, but we will consider the reversed meaning. Remember, not every reading is for you. A lot of people don't get that. But anyway, this reading may or may not be for you. Take what resonates and leave the rest, and this reading can go vice versa. So, this could be a, the Cross Watchers reading. What do we got for Cancer? Ooh, there's a lack of strength, okay? A lack of courage. You need to find courage. You need to find confidence. You need to find inner strength. It's like there's an opportunity for it, but you're gonna, you may have to ask for it if you have to believe. Now, there, it's like you are going to be needing strength this week to deal with a situation. You could also be dealing with a Leo. If you are dealing with a Leo, this did come out reversed. This Leo could be stealing your energy. Just saying. I mean, i got to be honest with you. So that could be the case. But this is a need to find your inner strength or, you know, this is the angel of strength. This is being given some strength. But some people don't believe. You know, you have to believe. You have to believe. And I'm just, I got to reiterate that. Now, fives are a number of adversity. So you're going to need strength to deal with some adversity. Okay. Somebody you may be dealing with somebody or it could be you that has a lot of pride. Somebody that is arrogant, somebody that has big ego. And you know, it takes a lot of strength to let go of ego. Okay? So, we, we, we're, we're going to have some adversity in which you need to find some sort of strength. Okay? Let's get some of these for Cancer. What do we have for Cancer? November 18th through the 24th. One more, please. That's too many. One more. Well, look at them. They just are flying right out for you. So we have dragon. Okay, well this makes sense. Beware of self-delusion. Not you. Seriously. Somebody needs to be aware of self-delusion. Bird perched. Waiting for news. Package or a letter. So it's like somebody is waiting. This, this It's not arriving yet. Because this bird is not, it's not going anywhere. This bird is perched. It's like you're waiting. You're waiting for the news, right? You're waiting for a package or waiting for a letter. You're waiting for something. You're going to be waiting. Rabbit. Too much concern with sexual matters. So that is definitely an issue. You got to be careful who you get engaged with. Okay. Um, there could be some reproduction this week and it may be unintended. You know, somebody could get pregnant and that you didn't intend to get pregnant. Just keep that in mind. Somebody could be hearing the news that somebody is pregnant. And perhaps they weren't anticipating it. So just be careful. People will trap you with a pregnancy. So keep that in mind. Anyway, um, dear God, angel spirits and universe, what do we have for cancer? Somebody could be getting pregnant. I don't know where that's coming from, but there's sexual issues here. You know, it can get you in trouble. It can definitely get you in trouble. Yeah, some this is a birth. Somebody could be getting pregnant. This is sim, does the symbol birth or a child. So, just saying, some of you could definitely be getting pregnant and and just finding out about it. Now, this page of cups could also be. A crush or a flirt, somebody new, a new a new love interest. This is also something that could lead to a child. Hermit. Hermit is a time to 
to reflect. Somebody needs to reflect and make sure that they have, maybe you need a plan B. <laughs> you know what plan B is, right? I'm just saying, I mean, this is plan B. Interesting. Very interesting. The hermit comes up with plan B, another plan, time to refocus and think about things. So somebody does need to think about things really go within and think about where they're going it's, it looks like we have somebody here that has a lot of wisdom behind their back and they're seeing something as well somebody may not be emotionally available for a child make sure that you are thinking clearly i'm just i don't know where this message is coming from but we get this king of cups here in reverse this is somebody who's not emotionally available this person is withdrawn secretive uh maybe cold okay the king of cups reversed this person um may not be uh communicating properly they may not want to communicate they may not want whatever this is the, the king of cups reversed is is somebody that is emotionally unavailable this person is a loner okay so just be careful somebody may have their heart set on somebody that really isn't emotionally available they could be having sex with that person thinking they want to have a baby with this person they're going to trap that person and in fact this person doesn't even would rather be alone this person is not emotionally available so this temperance card is a card of purpose it's a card of reason it's a card of cooperation and evolution this is an exchange. There's going to be some sort of exchange this week. Patience is needed. Somebody has been tied down or tied up in a situation. Somebody doesn't want to be tied down, just so you know. I just got to throw that out there. Anyway, this is somebody that wants to escape but hasn't escaped. We have somebody here that is trapped in their own mental prison about some sort of change. Somebody could even have a sexual addiction here. And this sex addiction could lead to an unwanted child. Be careful. Please be careful. This is a trap. Be careful, be careful. Somebody could be getting trapped into, you know, it's like a prison. Once you, once you have a child, you're tied to that child. I don't know who this message is for, but somebody may have some sort of addiction. Now, this five of wands reversed. Now, this is... No more competition. This will help to ward off the competition, won't it? Anyhow, this is the end of a competition. This is also relief. Happiness. The Knight of Swords. There's no hurry. Be patient. This is be patient, be patient. Be patient. Wait for happiness. There's no hurry. There's no hurry. I don't know who needs to hear that message, but this is this is a birth as well. Somebody could be trying to trap another person by getting pregnant and having a child or be trapping a person because of a child. Somebody could be trying to keep a person tied down because of a child. The child may be already here in the physical world. This person doesn't have good intentions. They are emotionally withdrawn. It's like they don't really want the child. And they're trapped in this situation. Interesting. But this is a very wise individual who is consciously aware that it's, that it's you know. What is this temperance card? It's time for a change. Because this is change and this is change. The hangman reversed. This is the master of non-attachment. Interesting. 
So cancer, this is, look at things from a new perspective. Make sure that your eyes are wide open. Be careful about who you're dealing with. Okay, it's a very fertile time. If you, it is, if, you, if somebody could definitely get pregnant, it is a definitely a fertile time, and you, somebody may not be ready for it. Just be careful. <laughs> That's the message somebody needs to hear. It says, be beware of self delusion. Somebody could be presenting themselves to you as that they're a really happy person, and they're really, really not. There's a need to slow down as well. This is slow down. Slow down. You may want to protect yourself. Make sure if you're having sex, you're wearing protection. I'm just saying. If you're having sex, you may want to be wearing protection. If you weren't wearing, whoops, if you weren't wearing protection, then, you know. And then again, that protection could fail. You just see what just happened. This is protection. There is a birth that could that could happen. Somebody could be having sex and they're going to get somebody pregnant without, you know, whatever. Just saying. This is an opportunity. Somebody is seizing an opportunity. Try, it's almost like they are really trying to trap another person. Be very, very, very careful. And they're using a child to do it. Somebody is trying to trap another person via a child. Using the child probably as a scapegoat or something like that. This will be a huge sacrifice. This is sacrifice. It will be. It really, really will be. Anyway, they could be sacrificing a child as well. Somebody could be, you know, it's like using a child. I'm just, that's what I see. Somebody is using a child in the wrong way. Oh my God. Whew. I mean, I can't make this shit up even if I tried. I cannot. Somebody's going to get pregnant or they already have had a child. It's the child is already here or they're planning on getting pregnant to, to keep a person trapped. Or they're using a child as the uh, leverage. The child may be already born. They're using the child to keep another person stuck. But this is a very wise, we do have a wise individual who is going to see the situation clearly. We do have that with the hermit and this person. Okay, we, this person is very intelligent. So somebody is going to see a situation clearly. This is your illusion. Right here. This is self-illusion. Somebody is living in some sort of fantasy land. They're making a poor choice. And there's consequences. This is a card of consequences. So you better be damn careful. We have some consequences here. And I don't know who this message is for. But somebody is going to be... Uh, feeling some sort of consequences for their actions. They're going to start to see things in a different light because something is going to be revealed that they didn't see. It's like they didn't see it, but it's like this burst, okay? Something happens and it's it's a new life. There is a new life here. There is with the sun card and the empress card. We have a new life that is beginning, whether it's an actual birth or something like that. There is a, there is a new life here. There is definitely a delivery that is upcoming and a delivery that has to do with mother and child. We have a mother that is going to have her child, okay? That's the way it goes. This mother is going to have her child. Everybody loves her. She's She, she wants this child and she's going to do anything that she can to get this child. So just, I don't know who this reading is for. But I feel like there's going to be a decision made. Somebody's going to make a decision and there's going to be a mother and a child that are together somehow. Okay. Um, 
it's actually a happy time. Somebody's going to be really happy. There could be a reconciliation between mother and child. If you've been waiting for your child to come home <laughs> or to be delivered, here it is. Your child is about to be delivered or about to be birthed or something like that. I feel as though um, whatever is happening, it's, it's quite matter of fact. It's the truth. The truth is, is that this mother really, really, really wants this child and she's going to do anything she needs to do to protect this child. She wants this child and she wants it bad. So, um, the Four of Cups reversed. This is uh, seizing the opportunity. It's the end of stagnation. It's looking forward now. Somebody is, is looking forward at something. There could also be a loss of some sort. I just, got, I just happened to look at the bottom. You guys may have seen me holding it. That is a loss. So there is a loss here as well. We do have one individual that is emotionally unavailable, does not have good intentions. This person may have been the one that was trying to keep another person trapped because of a child. This is the end of conflict, though, and this is letting go. This is letting go. The Four of Cups reversed is letting go. So somebody is, is letting go. It's, it's like this competition is coming to an end. There's, it's time for a change. It's time to evolve. It's time for something new. It's time for this new life. It is. There's a new life that is about to begin here. Things could come to a sudden halt. A sudden stop. I don't know what that is. I mean, maybe it's a, I mean, I hate to say it, but somebody might, uh, you know, do that plan B or, or get an abortion or something. I mean, something could come to a complete halt. There's consequences for acting impulsively and, and living in delusion. This is delusion and this is delusion. Somebody has been in some sort of, sort of illusionary fantasy land world, you know, doing things, having sex with whoever, I don't know. And it's like somebody's going to get pregnant and now we got to deal with the consequences. I don't know who that reading part of it is for. But I also feel as though there's going to be a birth here. For some of you, there's going to be the birth of a new life and there is going to be a mother that holds her baby in her arms. Perhaps she was dealing with somebody that was emotionally unavailable and he was, he or she or whatever, was holding that child hostage. This is like hostage. As a tool. So anyway, I feel, and this could be up reverse as a coward. So somebody is going to need to find some strength to deal with some adversity this week. There could be an upcoming news. There is going to be some news that is delivered. And it has to do with a child. Okay? So, good luck. I don't know why that won't focus, but it bothers me. It's because of the other cards. <laughs> 